In this video, I am going to attempt to build a wall rack for all of my detachable hardware for my Harley. So let's let's see what we can come up with. What's up, everybody? My name is Andrew. This is Touring Midwest. And if you've been following the channel at all, you're probably aware by now that I've installed some detachable hardware on my bike. I was able to take the stock tour trunk off, King Tour Pack. It's huge. Right now it's just sitting on the floor in the way and I've also got the sissy bar backrest and luggage rack. So we want to try to build a, a rack on this wall where we can just kind of store all that stuff so it's somewhat safer, not on the floor, not in the way. Uh, it's going to be tricky because like I said the tour pack is just huge. It's something like 27 inches wide. And I figure when it's mounted to the wall, it's going to stick out about 25 inches from the wall. So there's a pretty good chance that it's still going to be in the way. I've got a very small space to work with here. And I've got projects to do and videos to make. So the better job we can do with keeping it out of the way, the better. My other issue is I have very low ceilings. So I wanted to mount it up here, but it would stick out to probably right where I'm standing. And that just takes up too much space here. I'm gonna to try to mount it down lower and hopefully that will help. Also, the King Tour Pack is heavy, so I'm thinking lower might be better anyways. Just, it might be easier to put it on the rack. I don't know. This is an experiment. One of the problems we're gonna run into is I've seen people build similar racks, but they mounted all the bracketry straight to the wall. My problem is um, on this particular sissy bar, this is from Hogworks, this tab sticks out quite a ways from where it mounts. So I needed to clear about an inch to get it far enough away from the wall. So I'm gonna use two by twos as standoffs or spacers to kind of bring that bracketry out just a little bit. And uh, I think that's gonna do the trick for us. So. That's the first thing we're gonna work on. I already did some prep work. I cut the two by twos to 36 inches long, which is the length of the brackets that I'm using. I cut some PVC, just uh, like a quarter or half inch PVC. I don't even know, it's just some scraps I had laying around, but it's the perfect size for the detachable hardware. So that worked out really well. I cut that down to 13 inches. That's how wide we need everything to be. And then I went ahead and I spray painted everything that I'm gonna be mounting on the wall black. That's all done. Let's see, let's see what we can come up with and see if we can make this work. All right, for starters, what we've got is our standoffs. Again, these are just two by twos that I had laying around that I cut and we're gonna be mounting them to the wall. And since I can't really be limited to exactly where the studs are in the wall, I bought some I bought some wall anchors just to secure everything. Now supposedly this is good for like 115 pounds, so I think we'll be all right. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, we're just gonna go for it. We're just winging it here. Pray for me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna countersink the screws that we're gonna use in these standoffs because that's gonna enable us to be able to get the screw further into the wall anchor. We should be able to get about halfway through the two by two after we countersink the holes. The next thing I did is just screwed on a nut and an end cap or an acorn nut or whatever you want to call it onto each of the thre threaded rods. This will make up our end. These need to be about 14 inches long from the nut. Uh, 15 inches total, I would say, is going to do the trick because we'll have 13 inches of PVC plus however wide the bracket are, or the, however wide the bracket is, very thin. And then we'll do another nut and an acorn nut at the other end to hold everything together, kind of finish it off somewhat. It is what it is, right? The other nice thing about pre-drilling is the wood is less likely to split. So hopefully that doesn't happen. 
I went ahead and marked on the wall about where I need the tour pack to mount. So I need to grab the, actually need to grab the brackets. I'm gonna get one into place and then measure how far I need the other one away. So, man, it's hot in here. I had the, I had the heater cranked trying to, uh, trying to create a warm environment for the spray paint to dry because it's cold outside and it's about 80 degrees in the garage. So I'm starting to glisten a little bit over here. <laughs> Either way, I'm gonna use an eight inch drill bit and drill through the boards. That way I can make the pilot holes in the drywall so we know where to put the so we know where to put the wall anchors. So I'm actually gonna mount this just on this side of the indents I made. Go ahead and level it up. Now we can put in our first two wall anchors. I've had really good luck with these these type of wall anchors any time that I've used them in the past. Next I'm going to attach the angle bracketry that we have here. And I just have some leftover number 10 inch and a half screws from another project. So I'm going to go ahead and use those here. One about there. And one about there. I need this to be about 13 inches apart. The sissy bar is the widest part. So the actual tour pack mount would be more narrow. We might be able to use this hole. For this top one, top one's easy because we're going, we're just going to go off the top automatically. All right, well, the camera shut off, so you were fortunate enough to miss that. The problem with this angle, this punched angle steel that I bought, is that some of it is circle punched and some of it is oval. And the oval, is just a little bit too narrow for this rod to fit through. So I actually have to thread it all the way through and it's just super obnoxious. This project is annoying. I'm not even gonna lie. I don't know why it's... Oh my gosh, that's how it should go. There, that's how it should look when it's done. Well, not quite. We gotta cut off the threaded bar, but you get the idea. That's what we're gonna be working with. From there, we can cut off the ends. I'm just gonna leave enough of the end to get uh, another acorn nut on there. Ooh, we're pretty close there. I'll get there. So that top one, that top one's pretty much a finished, a finished look. So there you go, job is pretty much done. We've got our little rack area for our detachable hardware kit. So a couple things I would probably watch out for is if you're buying 
this punched angle steel, whatever it's called. Um, avoid the ones with the oval, circle, oval, circle, oval, oval, circle, circle. Uh, that's kind of annoying. Unless you buy a thinner threaded rod than I did. This is a 3 16 I believe. But I wouldn't necessarily want to go any thinner than that either. So just pay attention to what what kind of angle steel you're buying. Um, it's not a big deal. You just have to thread that threaded rod all the way through if it's these ovals. Because it doesn't fit through easily. So that's fairly obnoxious. But overall, I mean, not a not a bad project, and uh, I think it I think it works all right. You know what I mean? So that's pretty much gonna do it for this project. I just need to cut off the rest of those threaded rods and tighten up the nuts, and that's it. But you see it; it's holding. The tour pack it feels feels pretty secure. Feels pretty solid. Tour packs off the ground. Still, I don't think in the best place. Uh, I should probably keep a blanket or something over it. But I just don't have a lot of room in this garage to work with. So I'm kind of limited on my options. But I do like that I have a place for it. It's off the ground. Um, it's not as likely to get kicked and bumped around. And it's here. I'll be working around it. So maybe I'll just kind of get used to avoiding it without really thinking about it. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. But yeah, that's where we're at for now. So let me know what you think of this idea. If you, I tried really hard to come up with any other idea as well. Like I was thinking about like super strut or unistrut, but I couldn't figure out how to do anything with that. I was looking all over online for ideas and the only thing i even found was something similar to what i've got going on here so yeah, let me know what you guys use down in the comments below and uh maybe email me pictures give me some more ideas in case i decide to do away with this at some point i don't know but anyway i appreciate it thanks for checking out this video stay safe out there as always We'll catch you in the next video from Tour in Midwest. Peace.